OK, let's look at adding some customers in our Xero account. From our dashboard, we can quickly get there by going to the big plus on the top right and then straight to add a new contact. So we'll enter the first one required, Beach Hats. Now, adding an account number, that is optional in Xero. You don't have to have an account number, but we are going to have one. Fill that in. We're not going to enter any contact details, name and email at this stage. Also, in real life, we would expect to input that. So we're going to go straight down to the address field, add the postcode. That's all we're going to input at this stage, and we're going to go straight to save. OK, so let's add another. So this time we can go to contacts, all contacts, and then we can just choose add contact. Again, down to the address and save. If we want to edit a contact, we can just click on it to select it. And then at the top right, we have an option to edit. OK, an interesting thing in Xero about our contacts. If we go to contacts and all contacts, we will see our full list. Our full list being five at the moment. If we go back and go to contacts and choose customers, we're not going to find anything. Xero only treats a contact as a customer once there's an invoice in the system. So once there's a sales invoice in the system, it will be regarded as a customer. Until that stage, it's not.